and now emerging into the picture Evan Warren for the kickoff and off we go from South Bend with a ball that goes out of bounds and will give the Irish the ball at the 35 yard line. The Irish have had the ball twice Navy second possession the game's first first down Lavatai on the pitch they bring it around the edge with a lot of space for Jaden Umbarger. Inside the 30 to the 25 yard line. Put the football on the ground, but it was ruled down. Goes down to 14. Lavatai going to drop back to throw and get sacked by Kurt Heinrich. So the graduate student from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, second sack of the year, seven and a half sacks on his career. Watch Heinrich here, right here over the center. Just beats him, rips through that arm bar. Heinrich, Heinrich doesn't have a chance for many sacks, so he's going to take advantage of everyone he can get. If you're Navy here, you really like to try to get this ball out of your hands to avoid the long yardage situations. <laughs> this offense is not one to overcome the second and longs, the third and longs. That's his mom, Tawny. They drive from Pittsburgh every weekend. Pressure on again, and Lavatai is sacked this time by Jordan Botello, who had a sack last week against North Carolina. Haven't seen Tyler Buckner yet at quarterback for the Irish. Bouncing out of that hole that seemed to be closed was Williams, who gets Notre Dame's first first down, again doing it after contact, gaining yards to the 44. Going to throw, downfield, it's caught, and it's a freshman, Dion Colsey into Navy territory at the 25. You feel like, man, I've got to get the ball out. And then the snap, sometimes they bail, and you immediately have to go into a more patient mode. Fourth and four, man, free coming, and he gets him. It's Marshall who made the big hit earlier. The disguise and the different looks from the defensive coordinator, Brian Newberry, dialed the right one up there, and the Irish are denied. This has just got such a great feel. We pick up in the pressure by Tyree. Shot for Austin. With late hands, he brings it in. Inside the 10 yard line. Kevin Austin down the sideline. We'll mark him at the 11 official. Let's watch this. Let's see if he was able to get one foot down. Catch. Teams have combined for one of 11 on third down. Buckner pulls it, takes the throw to Mayer, gets the first down with his legs to the 47-yard line. They're showing a full blitz, cover zero look. They end up bringing him. Buckner to Austin, couldn't get out of the tackle, but he's got the first down. Inside the five, Willie Collins, the sophomore with the touchdown saving tackle. Irish will go quick here from the one. So watch, they bring everyone up front. You're one-on-one -on, -one on the backside with Kevin Austin. Really nice job by Tyler Buckner finding his one-on-one. -on -one. First and goal, it is Williams inside, leading to the goal line and in for a Notre Dame touchdown. Really nice job, good finish by this Notre Dame offense. You hand the ball to one of your best players. And you know what? Navy's, Navy's cover zero again. They have two defensive players pinching from the outside, hitting Kyron at the two yard line. What does Kyron do? He does what he does every game. He just carries guys into the end zone. He breaks tackles, yards after the first contact. But a really good job finishing that drive off by Notre Dame. Three down linemen from the 15. Irish run again with Williams. He'll get another first down and almost 12 yards to the 27 yard line. Irish try to convert on third and seven. And Cone fires to Austin. He's done. Kevin Austin will take it the distance. Notre Dame touchdown. Austin's fifth of the year. Watch this free safety, okay? He's responsible for the deep half. Look at Jack Cohn's eyes here. He's right there. Looking at Michael Mayer. That holds the safety just for a moment so he can throw it in the hole to Kevin Austin. Really nice job by Jack Cohn. Just holding the safety enough. Corner's not responsible for him. He's a cloud corner. Mm. Safety's job to get over there. He's not able to because Jack Cohn holds him just enough. Flips his shoulders over there, fires it to Kevin Austin. 
That was one of my favorite plays in two minute drill, by the way, Mike. Wall go special, uh -huh. four verticals. You felt like there was always a place where you could get a completion, and it gave you big play opportunities because everyone was running vertical uh, in a two minute type situation. Team training for future quarterbacks. There you go. Right here. Second and 13. Arline with the late pitch and a good one to Chance Warren on the edge. Warren's got a first down. Out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Jack Kaiser over there along with Tariq Bracey, who's back in the game. He Ruas inside and through the middle, holding on for the touchdown saving tackle was Kaiser, but it's first and goal for Navy at the eight yard line. You see this unbalanced yep. set, and then there's Michael Cooper, the receiver, right there. Ruas inside. Denied. It'll be fourth and goal. Second and ten. Our line option. Ball free in the end zone. Safety. Our line falls on it. Kurt Heinisch was there forcing the pressure. The Irish will get two and take a 13 point lead. What a day for Heinisch. Yeah. It they're just trying to run the veer option here. Not great pitch relationship. You know, that's what you talk about a lot in option football. The pitch relationship between the quarterback and the running back. Running back was very close to him. You misplaced that pitch at all. Really tough, really tough way to go out there for Navy. Marcus Freeman is pumped the way his defense is playing right now. Going looking left. Everything covered. He'll scan and come back and check it down. Williams in the open field. The magic of Kyron Williams took nothing to a gain of 14 and an Irish first down to 21. Look out. Patterson is the leader of the center, said enough of the line, said enough is enough. Go flat. Avery Davis for the Irish. Taken down at the 20-yard line, gain of 16 for the graduate slot receiver. From the 20, here is Williams bouncing to the outside, accelerating into the secondary, into the end zone. Williams. Did he have possession over the goal line? Yes. Notre Dame touchdown, Kyron Williams. Really on the field. The runner broke the play in the goal line before the ball came loose. And I assume we'll wait to see if replay is going to look at this. Or, in fact, I, I didn't hear if they said it was a clear recovery. The ruling on the field of a touchdown. Is Here's, under Davis. Review. Here's the Davis injury there as you see so they're going to take another look at that we did have one look from that opposite side down the line let's keep this rolling here guys to the end and see if we get a clear recovery one way or the other here's the best look they'll have and that looks clearly to be Terry McCauley I'll bring you in as we're watching it looked like it was short I didn't hear if they said they had a distinct ruling in the end zone. Yeah, Mike. Uh, it is short. He doesn't. He does not have control when it, when the ball when he gets to the plane of the goal line. But it it is important, as you said, that we've got to find out if there's a clear recovery. After further review, the runner fumbled the ball before getting into the end zone, but then he still recovered it in the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown Notre Dame. All right, so it's upheld, and it's Williams, and it's a 19-point Notre Dame lead, 25 to six. Great season for Kyron Williams. So you got Kyron Williams here in this interesting spot. You expected him to go in motion, perhaps a screen of some kind. Cohen's running that way, throwing that way, and in the back of the end zone, Braden Lindsay's got the two. Beautiful throw by Cohen. 422 remaining now. After the penalty on Josh Lug, Diggs looking for space, and he finds it. The acceleration from the freshman Logan Diggs. With a face mask flag on top of the long game for a first down. There is Buckner back in here as they're inside the red zone. Part of the future in the end zone, Diggs. Freshman to freshman as the Irish add on. Yeah, something tells me we're going to be we're going to be calling out that connection for for a long time here, Mike. Buckner's like, hey, you just. He brought me in for one play to hand it off and we score. One of their bread and butter plays, duo or America's play as we uh, defined it a couple weeks back. Give me those double of, teams. A lot of double teams up front. Want six of that weight. Those are the co-third choices at four to one. 
And that should be the final play of this one. So Notre Dame's going to improve to eight and one, Navy two and seven. We've seen the physicality, the desire to win here from both teams, the head-to-head -head battle. But what you'll see for the next few minutes is what's at the root of this rivalry, what's at the root of these many matchups that we talked about at the very beginning of the broadcast, the institutional respect that carries on through generations. As Isaac Ruas takes the final carry. Puck hit zero, and the Irish win 34 to 6. Scoring 17 in the half and limiting Navy to three, just as they did in the first half.